Hi everyone, this is Arfin, and today we are going to calculate information ratio. So let's start. So let's import libraries and as SPD, import numpy as NP, import pandas underscore data reader as web. Let's run this. So we need to download data. Let's see. Let's see data is equal to web dot data reader. We need a stock apple data source yahoo star date 1-1-2020 and date 1231 2020 and we are going to take adjusted closing price Let's run this. Okay, we also need benchmark. So we are going to download benchmark data as well. Uh, we can download uh, benchmark data here. So there is no harm in it. Let me download it here. So since, okay, so SNP 500 GSPC. Let's again run this and check the data frame now. Nice, so we have Apple, we have S&P 500. Let's start calculating the return and uh, tracking errors. So the formula for information ratio is information ratio is equal to Stock written minus benchmark written divided by tracking error. Okay, so we need the stock written, we need benchmark written, and we need tracking error. Let's do it. So data dot daily. In fact, we can say apple underscore return or daily underscore apple return is equal to data of apple dot percentage change. Okay, let's run this and check data.head. Oops, it's taking time, why? Okay, yeah, because of this. So we have daily return now. We need to do the same for benchmark. So data daily bench underscore return or we can put SNP that's not an issue so data SNP 500 dot percentage change let's run this and again check the data great so we have calculated daily return of apple we have calculated daily return of SNP 500 now we need to calculate return. So apple underscore return is equal to, here I'm going to calculate return by using chain link method. So all I need to do is first, I need to apple return, I need to add one in the return, or daily return series and put it under bracket. So I need to have a product of this return series and subtract it with one. 
So we subtract from one, it will be apple written. Let's run this and see apple written. Let's check. Okay, it's 78%. Similarly, we need to do the same for bench return, which will be equal to NP dot product data. Uh, what we have defined here, daily benchmark return. Let's copy this and put it here. Plus one, minus one. So let's run this and check. Great. Now we have calculated return of a stock. We have calculated return of benchmark. Now we need to calculate tracking error. So you can see in my previous video, I have calculated tracking error into a different ways. So now I'm going to calculate uh, tracking error directly. So what I'm going to do, tracking error of Apple. So I'm going to calculate tracking error directly. So I have return data already. Uh, let me check. Okay, it's daily Apple return. Copy this. Let me paste it here minus data daily benchmark return. Let's put it under bracket dot STD multiply with square root of 252. Let's run this tracking error of Apple is equal to 26%. Nice. Now let's calculate information ratio, which will be equal to, uh, let me see what's, okay, it's Apple return. So it will be Apple return minus benchmark return divided by tracking error. Let's run this information ratio, let's run this. Okay, so Apple information ratio is 2.38. So similarly, we can put the fund here, we can put uh, fund related benchmark, we can put any stock or any fund or ETF, or whatever we want to analyze. So similarly, we need to, if we want to add more stock, all we need to do is we need to FB, uh, yeah, FB, let's do this. And then we have FB here. Similarly, return of Apple will remain same. I need to do the same. Let me copy it and paste it here. So instead of Apple, it will be Facebook. Similarly, Facebook, let's run this. Let's check the data. Okay, we have this. Now benchmark, let's run this and then check again. So we have Facebook, we have Apple and we have benchmark. And we are going to do the same for, for Facebook here. So we are going to calculate Facebook return. And then similarly, FB, let's run this. Okay, so let's do it in this way. So we will have both the returns, okay. And then benchmark return, it will be same, no change. Now we need to calculate tracking error for uh, FB as well. So let's do this. FB here and then FB, perfect. Similarly, we need tracking error of this. So let's check. Great, and here I'm going to calculate tracking error of Apple. 
and similarly just copy this and paste it here it will be facebook and then facebook return and facebook tracking errors so let's run this and let's see apple information ratio facebook perfect so that's all for today hope it's easy and clear if you want to know anything if you have any query just feel free to ask and if you like this video please uh, like it and subscribe my channel so in the next video uh, i'm going to automate this function uh, by using a user defined function in python so stay tuned thank you